I have a word from the Lord for you today. All right. If you have your Bibles, go with me to Romans, the 8th chapter. We're going to read a few verses here. And then we're going to give you what the Lord gave us to give. All right. And we're going to give it to you in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All right. Yes, Lord. Romans 8 chapter. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Yes, Lord. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Yeah. And what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent his only Son in the likeness of, the, of sinful flesh, and for sin condemns sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. We walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to become a mullet is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the common mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwelt in you, now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Mm. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit of life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Yeah. Therefore, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh, but if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die because of the, through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. For if any man are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. I want to ask you a question today. Are you in the Spirit or in the flesh? All right. Which one is dwelling in you today? What do you let take control of you today? The spirit man or the flesh man? All right. See, so you're going to have to make up your mind in this world. You're going to have to be doers of God's word yeah. or you're going to be earthly. Amen. And we see what the devil is doing today. You see, he has sent his spirit out to control man. If the Bible tells us in 1 Timothy 4, chapter, the Spirit speaking expressly, that in the latter days some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits yeah, and man. doctrines of devil. If you notice your television set over the weekend, how this young man, who I have to say was demon possessed, All right. Right. see, there was another spirit that was in him, that was controlling him right. to go out and to kill those people and to wound others. All right. Acting out worthy things. Amen. See, you can get caught up in some worthy things, All people, right. and it will lead you to death. Amen. Right. What I'm trying to tell you is we are going to have to walk in the spirit of God and not in this flesh. All right. This flesh will deceive you. It will make you do things that you should not do right. being in the flesh. Right. Yes. Yeah. I tell you, it's time for us to realize that we can't walk in this flesh. Yeah. See, the Memphis Slim put out a record a long time ago that things that I used to do. All right. Hello. All right. Amen. See, I got to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh 
Because if I let this flesh lead me, it's going to make me do things that I'll regret later on. Amen. I can imagine that man, that young man is sitting in jail now saying, what happened to me? Amen. What, what did I do? <clears throat> See, because the demonic force today is operating in this world to steal, to kill, and to destroy. All right. And if we don't recognize that today, then you're going to be lost. Amen. You're going to be caught up in that flesh. See, the flesh is ruling a whole lot of people today. Let me tell y'all something. You better, when you leave home, be covered by the blood of Jesus. Yes. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? You better get covered by the blood of Jesus. Because the devil is sending out people today to really do nothing more than destroy. Amen. And deception is on the rise. Oh, there's so much deception in the world today. They're not walking after the spirit. They're not walking after the spirit. I asked a question, uh, I, I, I didn't ask them, but I'd like to ask the candidates that are running for office today. I would like to ask the question that all the things that you've done in this campaign, is there anything that you were done that when you stand before God and you, you look at him and are you ready for the evil that you were doing? Do you think that everything that you was doing was right? Amen. Come on. Would he say to you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, Amen. with the things that you have said in this campaign? Right. That's the question I would like to ask. Amen. Do they think that they could stand before God wrongly and say, I did what you wanted me to do, Lord? Come on, man. Or would he say to them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity? I'm going to ask you that question. All right. When you stand before him, Jesus. will you be able to say, Lord, I did your work down there. All right. Would you look at me and say, you know, I don't remember you. Jesus. No, I know you're going to remember me. Ah, yes, sir. I'm the one who praised you. I honored you and glorified you. I looked at you all for mm, yes. yes. I tried to feed this, uh, the hungry. When I saw somebody hungry, I tried to feed them. Yes. When I saw those in jail, yeah, I tried to visit them. Chad told me I couldn't go, so I gave him some books that you put in there. Amen. Put some spiritual things in, the, in, in there. Those who are in the hospital. Have you visited anybody in the hospital? All right. Go out there and lay hands on them, pray for them. Jesus. See, these are the things God wants us to do. Folk houses got burned down down here. I tried to give them some. I gave them some. Amen. The best thing I could do at the time, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you working for your neighbors? Or are you working All for right. All right. All right. See, we're so selfish generation. This is the most selfish generation. Yeah. yeah. See, I want to get all I can right. and gain all right. I get. Amen. For what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rich man said, what are you going to do, tear out his bond and be a bigger bond? Uh -huh. But honey, the Lord said, huh? Your soul is required right. of you this day. Hallelujah. Who will those things be? That's right. Let me tell you, everything that you do in this life, make sure it's done to represent you. Amen. So what I'm asking you today, what spirit of you, what spirit is controlling you today? Amen. Amen. See, that many spirits are going out today. That's right. And they're here to deceive you. That's right. To cause confusion among you. Oh, they're working today. In this month. I ain't talking about in some other foreign country. They're working right here in this month. Rebellious spirit. Do you have one? Listen to it. Oh, yeah. Coming against some spirits like I don't know what today. You got to come before. You got to come against them. If you don't, they will continue to rise up. That's right. When you see a demon, you better cast that sucker out. You can't let him run the whole church. Amen. No sorry, y'all. Oh, going to church today. Can't have a me in their churches today. Demons controlling from the pulpit to the back door back there. All right. Controlling. Honey, you better watch where you in. Watch where you go to church at. Amen. I'm not going to say it. Because, honey, if they're not doing what the dust said, the Lord, leave. Yeah. 
what the Bible tells us, come out from among them and be you separate, said the Lord. Yeah. Honey, that's not there just for you to stick it out. Well, you know, her mama bought that pew back there. You better forget about what mama bought yeah. and get saved and come out from among them. Yes, Lord. You don't want to go to hell because of a pew. All right, now. So you better come out from among them. Yeah. Let the Spirit, see, the Spirit will help you. When you pray, that's why I urge everybody in this church to be filled with the Holy Ghost. So that you can pray in the Spirit. Yeah. Like I give a message here on prayer in tongues, praying in the Spirit. See, you need to get out of this flesh and get into the Spirit realm. Yeah. Because it's mysteries in the Spirit that you can't get in praying in this, in this uh, Spirit of uh, English. You can't get it. You got to get in the spirit, man. Honey. I mean, you got to get there, and you got to labor there, because the Lord Himself, see, it's your spirit contacted directly to His spirit. All right. The devil is. What is he saying? What is, what is he saying? It's a mystery. What is he saying? I can't. I can't interrupt him. Yeah. But oh, if you down here, Lord, help me. Time you get through, help me with this bill. Help me. The devil stand right in front of that bill and block it. All right. I ain't gonna let you pay this bill. I know you prayed All for right. it, but I got you. I got you on this. Ah. Right. Stop right. you from doing things. But oh, you get the spirit. He. What is he saying? I can't understand this man. What is he saying? That's why you ought to pray in tongues. Yeah. They feel with the Holy Ghost so you can pray in tongues. Let me give you some scripture here. Yeah, folks, are you, he's saying that and I don't know what he's talking about. Turn to 1 Corinthians, the, the 14th chapter. Your, most churches don't even go here. They won't even, they won't touch this. Mm. What I said, get into the spirit, man. Oh, hallelujah. You're there. 1 Corinthians, Amen. the 14th chapter. Mm. The 14th verse. Mm. That's where I'm going. All right. oh, 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 praise God. It says, for if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit pray, but my understanding is unfruitful. If I pray in right. an unknown tongue, my spirit pray, but my understanding is unfruitful. If I don't pray in the spirit, my spirit don't pray. All right. If I don't pray in tongue, my spirit don't pray. That's right. Amen. So we got to get in the spirit. Look, look what it says here. It says, what is it then? I will pray with the Spirit and I will pray with understanding. I will sing also with, in the Spirit and I will sing with understanding. So we do both of them. When you get to praising God, what you saying about I don't know. I know one thing, it's a mystery, but it's for me. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to bless me. Amen. And the devil can't stop it. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I do it his way. See, and this this wasn't put here just for you to read. Amen. James said, What? Be ye. Be ye doers of the word and not just hearers only. Amen. Oh, you can hear some Charlotte's get up in here and they'll have you shouting and jumping, getting into an emotional frenzy. I've seen some emotional frenzies in church. Amen. Folks jumping all over the, the benches, hurting themselves. If you're in the spirit, you ain't going to hurt yourself. Amen. You can, I saw a lady once fall against the bus. I said, I know she's hurt. That lady got up there. What? She was in the spirit. Amen. You can't get hurt doing things in the spirit. Right. You can't get hurt. But oh, I, I seen them fall out on the floor. He said, oh, they, oh, they get back up. Oh, hallelujah. Why? Because they're in the spirit. Yes. But now, if one fall out in the, in the flesh, oh, my head, my leg. Oh, yes, honey. So get in the spirit. Amen. And Paul said, I pray in tongues more than ye all. That must be something that he was doing. Because he went through all kind of it. Amen. So God brought him through it. Yes. Although he did have people after him. 
trying to kill him on every wing. Stop his ministry, so to speak. But the Spirit kept him, people. Amen. Why? Because he stayed before the Lord in turn. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And so it's for us today to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And praying in tongues. A lot of folk don't, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I can't do that. Honey, you better get in the spirit realm. Right. Right. Hallelujah, get in the spirit realm. The, the devil, he wants, he don't want you there. No, because he, you get there, he don't know what you're doing or saying. Right. Right. See, he want to know what you're doing and what you're saying. But honey, when you walk in the spirit, yeah. you won't fulfill the lust. Your Amen. And I tell you the truth. Let me let me just give you some hint. Mm -hmm. Don't you walk around here saying, Oh, I'm so high. I know I'm so high in the spirit. The devil can't do this and can't do that. You are the very one that he's out here. And you will fall. This ain't no one day thing. Come on. This is a continuation. Amen. You don't just go in the spirit and don't stay in the hunt. You got to continue in this. You got to walk in this thing daily. God didn't say pray once a month or once a year. This is a daily thing. Yeah. When you get up in the morning, you got to look at Slew Foot and say, Hell, not today, buddy. Be quiet. Stay where you are. You can't follow me today because I'm going in the spirit. Amen. Right. I'm going in the spirit. Ah. Yeah. Huh. Somebody yeah. You said, Get up. You get up in the morning. What? Oh, you here? What you doing here? Get out of here. Mm. Tell them to get out of here. You can't walk with me today. But so many people get up in the morning and they grab a hold to him. And he walk with them Amen. all day long. Amen. Deceiving and being deceived. Hallelujah. That's what the book tells me. That's right. Evil men are going to wax worse and worse. Yeah. Deceiving and being deceived. How many people you got deceived today? Amen. Honey, if you're not in the word, you're easily to be deceived. Because you got some smart people. In fact, the devil make them smart. Amen. So that they can deceive you. So let's be aware of who we are worshiping. Amen. All right. Let's thank God. Yeah. Thank God for the day. Thank him. Yeah. The Hallelujah. Lift the spirit. See, we need the spirit power in this church. Jesus. Every day I say, Lord, help me. Yeah. Help me to yeah. find somebody in need. Folks on the prayer list out there. On every day, yeah. I try to pray for that prayer list. Yeah. That they be healed. Things yes. happen to us. But see, I don't know what's wrong with you. Man. Therefore, I have to pray in the spirit. Yeah. Right. For the Bible tells us, we don't know what we ought to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself makes it into such a wounds which we cannot yes. articulate, which is in tongues. We can do it in tongues, people. And let's seek God. Let's seek God to get all the spirits out of Trinity, out of here. So let's be honest. Walk in the Spirit. Yes. And do not fulfill the love.